this is so sad. I don't want to take it off. <gasps> no. <laughs> anyway, jawline and contoured to a sort of, it, it really makes me look like I've got an actual okay jawline when I do this kind of contour. So stick to the end. This is the final look, which is a very cutesy girly look, but the contour itself is what I'm trying to show you so I can show off that jawline and get that sort of masculine jawline. Chill, dudes. Hey there, my dudes. I am Laddie, and welcome to another video. I, um, forgot to film an intro, um, so yay, I'm sitting here being lazy on this chair, and I should probably sit up properly. Uh, basically what I am, if it would zoom close, there we go, thank you, focus on my face. Basically what I'm doing in this video is I'm doing, well I was going to do a makeup look anyway, but whenever I do my makeup looks I actually masculinize my jaw. So like what I do is I contour here. Um, down here, like, you know, underneath the cheekbone, and then, you know, I, I show you how, I'll show you how to do it with a voiceover and everything, but, um, I just wanted to show how I do masculinizing contour, and how I sort of define the jawline with contour, and things like this. Just remember that I'm doing this for, like, a full face look. Um, if you want it subtle, uh, and you want it to look like it's not makeup, but it's just contouring, just basically do everything that I show you in a much more subtle way. Just don't put as much on and it will come up nicely for you to subtly carve out that jawline and make it seem more masculine and stuff like that because I do it to actually help me pass when I have makeup on because I, it, you know, and I always keep my facial hair. So, yes, um, enjoy the video and I will see you at the end and I'm just literally going to do a voiceover of everything that I do in this video. So to start off, I literally just put on some moisturizer cream. I did not shave because I think that can really help with the jawline, but it can also help me pass when I am doing makeup, if I am doing, you know, feminine eye makeup. So all I did was I just put a simple moisturizer on my face and then I put, a, just so that I know that my face is somewhat protected from the makeup, and then I put on a poreless primer from e.l.f. on the sort of T-zone of the face and also my nose where I know I have a lot of pores showing. On top of that, I put a green concealer which just gets rid of a tiny bit of the redness on my cheeks, and then I proceeded to put on the foundation that I have at the moment which I'm showing on screen. I just, I use a beauty blender which is damp. What you've got to do is you've got to dampen it with hot water until it expands a little bit and just make sure there's not much remaining water in the beauty blender. But I just use that to dab on the foundation. I have an e.l.f. camo concealer that I apply to certain areas like under the eyes, on the nose, chin, above the mouth and on the forehead. This basically helps bring out the center of the face, make everything look, look a bit more snatched. You don't need to do this if you're just going for the masculinizing look. I do this because I'm doing a full face of makeup which wants to look feminine, so you don't have to apply this part of the makeup. I am just doing this because this is sort of how, um, how I get my makeup to look snatched. Um, so after this, what I do is I get a sort of fluffy brush, but it's my contour brush, and I get a con my contour palette, I get the darkest shade of my contour palette, and with brushing upwards motions, just under the cheekbone, I brush up into the corner of my sideburns. I keep brushing up and adding more product to that, which helps sort of chisel out the cheekbones and basically what I do to masculinize this section is I drag the contour that's from underneath the cheekbones I drag it down by using a sort of like fish type face like if you suck in your cheeks it will show you the perfect line for you to use the contour this will actually make it look like you've got a chiseled sort of masculine cheekbone to to the chin sort of area that you see in some men 
and after I've done this, the next thing I really do is I go underneath the chin and the jawline and darken that area out with the same contour brush, just adding, uh, applying more contour every time I go back in. And doing the contour on both sides, I also contour the nose, however usually you want the nose to look a bit bigger uh, if you want to look more masculine so you don't have to contour the nose if you don't want to, I'm just doing it for the sake of this because I'm actually going to be doing a full face look. After this I apply some e.l.f. setting powder to the face in general areas and then I have a loose setting powder in a sort of loose white setting powder. You get the pointy end of your beauty blender and I basically draw a line from just a bit tiny bit lower down under my cheekbone at the end of my sideburns and I draw a straight line a straight line down to the jawline and I do this on the other side as well and uh, I also put some of the loose setting powder under the eyes just to like brighten that up on the chin forehead and other places like that so while that is setting I go in to do my eyebrows what I like to do is thicken my eyebrows but you can, I will in the future possibly do a tutorial on how to make your eyebrows look naturally thick for pre-T trans men, but that is probably gonna be a future video. I usually thicken my eyebrows and add some more color to them and darken them up, and then I can brush off the bake baking powder. What the baking powder does is it basically lightens the area of the jawline, and it makes this jawline stand out and it makes it look like you've got this really nice defined jawline and also with the contour it makes it look like your entire face is chiseled and sculpted and in my opinion quite masculine. So that is actually what I do for the face, that's really all I have or all I sort of do every time I do my face look to make my jawline look a bit more masculine. However when I'm now going in with this look, I'm doing this really cutesy look. I did a live stream on this, so go check out my Instagram. The live stream will probably still be up when this video is up. Go check out my Instagram at CallMeLaddie and also at Laddie underscore M-U-A, which is my makeup Instagram. Go check that out and also like this video while you're at it because why not? And subscribe. Love you all. <laughs> um, but this look is such a cutesy look. I did little hearts over my nose. I added pink blush. Added a style of lip that's sort of seen in, that's sort of very popular in like certain Japanese style things, which is where you have just in the center, you have a little bit of rouge in the center of your lips. And also on my eye makeup, I added a very simple yellow and pinkish look. So I will show you guys the outcome in a second. Hmm. Okay guys, this is my finalised look. I know this is not a masculine look at all, but um, I just thought I really liked how it kind of looked. Um, so I do have the masculine sort of jawline look, but I did cuten it up by putting like blush around the nose and stuff and all these little hearts. I love how my jawline looks because I've contoured it properly and yay. Anyway, despite me posing, thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I guess I will see you guys in another video. Oh, I love this look so much. I don't want to take it off, but it's so late. I guess I'll see you guys in another video. Bye-bye. Please like, comment, subscribe, by the way. Don't forget to do that. Watch me do a good thing. Fuck it all up in one night. I've got a fucking song in my head. Oh, my God. I have too much time and energy right now and it's 2am and I have to edit this video for literally the morning and I should probably take this look off but I really don't want to. <laughs> Please subscribe and go to my Instagram if you want to see more of this look go to my Instagram because I have an art Instagram laddie underscore MUA put it up on the screen and I also have at call me laddie two Instagrams one is my makeup um, artist one and one is just my sort of person not personal but just my sort of general Instagram so that's yay yay and uh, that's what I'm basically gonna be posting this on I uh, this makeup look on so go there to check out all my other makeup looks that I've been doing some really fun funky stuff 
Go check that out. Ooh, okay. <laughs> Bye. I love you all.